Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a good old Amazon favorites. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Before I start sharing favorites, I am just going to preface this video with saying that I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys wanted to see this, if you're looking for a distraction from everything that's going on right now. An overwhelming amount of you said yes, and I got a ton of comments saying, you would love to see it, you want normal content, all of that. So this video is not me being tone deaf or not knowing what's going on or not caring what's going on. It is simply trying to keep my channel positive, keep sharing regular content on here. If you want to be nasty, I will block you. I, I have been getting some really nasty comments lately and I just have a zero tolerance for it. So... We're gonna keep a positive here, but I do just want to give you guys some sort of distraction and some good positive vibes. So we're gonna share good things on this channel and that is Amazon Favorites. It is your guys' favorite video of mine to watch. It's my favorite video to film. Who doesn't love Amazon? So that's what we're doing today. Amazon is taking a bit longer to ship than normal, but things are still prime free. You can still order on there and since it takes a little bit longer, it doesn't really matter because none of us really have anywhere to go. So that is that. I will link every single thing that I mentioned down below in the bottom bar, including everything that I'm wearing per usual. I am also going to take you guys around my house like I always do and share the products in their places for the ones that are in a specific place. The first thing is this little ring box. I have seen these everywhere. Um, if you're new here, I got engaged in February and the box that my ring came in is so hideous. So I wanted to get just a cute little box to replace that one. I saw this one. I've also seen them on more expensive sites and I actually purchased a like pretty expensive one with an enamel top on it, but I wanted to compare the differences in quality. This one seems like pretty decent quality. I don't have that one yet, but the price difference is astronomical. So I figured I would share this one. It comes in a bunch of different colors. So this is like the light pinky blush color. I will say that this is much smaller than a regular ring box. I don't really mind. I don't need something super bulky. And then the inside, it just looks like this. So you would just put your ring in it like that. And then this is the other part and it just fits right on there. I just think that this is so cute. This would be really cute if you wanted to propose with a box like this, if you are in the market to propose to somebody. But otherwise, if you have rings already, it, I just think that it's really cute. It's gonna sit really nicely on my vanity. And I think that it's such, it's so much nicer than the one that my ring came in. Next up is something that none of us are gonna need anytime soon. It is this passport holder. I thought that this was really cute. It comes in this like bronzy, goldy color. And then on the inside, you can just put your passport into it and then it has spots for cards or your driver's license or anything like that. You could put cash in it if you wanted to. Um, it is padded. It's really nice quality. So I'm really excited to use this when the day comes that we can travel again. This is a very random one and I'm actually going to insert a clip of us using it of Adam using it. It is this brush set. It actually attaches to a drill and it comes with three different brushes. I actually put this in his stocking. I know, so nice of me to put cleaning supplies in his stocking. Um, anyway, you just attach whichever attachment you want to your drill and then it obviously like moves really quickly and it's really easy to get um, just a lot of junk off of like your bathroom tiles, your grout, anything like that. Obviously the different sizes and shapes work for different things. So yeah, I just think this is such a good idea and we never had them before. So highly recommend, they're pretty affordable. They come in a bunch of different packages of different sizes and shapes. This is the before. Keep in mind that our house is very old, so we need to replace the sealant in the first place. Like it's never going to come completely clean, but this is the product in use. So you just move it around with whichever attachment you want. And then obviously you can switch them out as needed. So now he's using the round one to kind of get in the corners of the grout and all of that. It's just easier if you have 
the different attachments obviously and then this is the after it looks so much better but like i said before it's not ever going to come completely clean just because it is older in the first place so we need to remove it but it is so much better next i actually picked up two different rings from amazon i'm wearing both of them i wore a ring on my right ring finger for over 10 years probably like I don't know 12 to 15 years and so when i got engaged in february it felt weird to take that ring off of my right hand it was just another gemstone ring so it felt weird to have two stoned rings on my ring finger so i ended up taking it off and i've been wearing this one on my right hand which i really like and then this one i've been wearing on my pointer finger but i can wear it on like my middle finger so I love both of these. They are both rose gold. Um, and yeah, they are good quality. So far I've had them for a few weeks now. I've been washing my hands with them. No discoloration. I really like them. So, and they're both super affordable. I think this one was like nine and this one was maybe 12. So highly recommend both of these. I really love just little rings that you can wear on different fingers. So yeah, that was right up my alley. And I just wanted something to kind of still wear on my right hand but then another ring that i can just kind of like switch where i wear it this next one is kind of boring but it's also one of my most used it is these socks so these are no-show socks and i will show you guys what they look like with a pair of shoes on but these are the only no-show socks that i have ever worn that actually stay on my feet no matter what they do have that little sticky inside right here and then um, they are it's really hard to see the shape of them like this but um, anyway they don't show they go down really really low so they don't show any in your shoes I absolutely love them I have tried so many different kinds of no-show socks and these are the only ones that have actually stayed on my feet so highly highly impressed I'm actually gonna grab another pack of these because I think I have like I don't know five pairs of them or something and i use them almost every day i actually sometimes work out in these as well just because i i don't know why not okay this is what it looks like with those no-show socks on these are really low sneakers and you cannot see anything on either side so absolutely love them they stay in place this is what they look like on so you can see that they have the well you can't see it but they have the sticky stuff and you can see how low of a profile this is almost at my arch so you can see how low that is nothing is showing in these absolutely love them this one is a non-specific one but considering the state of the world right now i figured i would just mention this remember when amazon sold books only it seems like forever ago and like it was a completely different company well i mean it kind of it kind of was but you can buy books on amazon or through audible on amazon and it's a great way to pass the time i love listening to audiobooks i love reading books so that is something that if you've got some extra time on your hands you can definitely order a couple of books off of Amazon. I just did a full video sharing my favorite podcast books and TV shows, which I can link up in the cards for you. But if you're in the market for some books, check out that video. I will link some of them down below in the bottom bar, but that is a great way to pass the time and also a great thing to order on Amazon. A lot of times the books that I found there are way cheaper than they are at other stores. I recently moved this dresser into my office so that I had some more storage space and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to decorate it. I think I'm going to take these down and maybe put some bigger prints um, like leaning against the wall or something. But I did finally get a pot for my ZZ plant. I think this pot is so cute. This has been in its original just like plastic pot for so long but i love the gold and the marble i just think that it's so 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 pretty and it fits this plant perfectly for now and then on the other side of it i do have this which is my prayer plant it is out of control but this planter and stand are those are actually both from amazon as well so i can link these for you too but they have so many good options at really, really affordable prices. You guys have seen me working on my closet for a while now. 
So I wanted to mention a couple of things. First is this bag. I think this is so cute. It has these little tassels on it and it does have the magnetic closure. And then on the inside, it has one, one larger pocket and then just a really big open area. It also has a wristlet handle and then it has the longer handle that you can wear cross body or you can wear it over one shoulder and it is adjustable. So I think that this is so cute. The shipping did take a while, but I know that I'm gonna get so much use out of this. The next thing in these drawers are these pink organizers. I got four of them. Those two are the same size, this one and this one. So I have three different shapes slash sizes. Um, those ones, this one, and this one. So this little one has all of my nail polish in it and it's kind of like the perfect size for that. This one has all of my hair scrunchies in it, which I always get asked about these ones when I show them. These are actually from Amazon too. They came in a package of all the, these different colors. Um, I can link that for you below, but this one would be perfect for like face masks or something. It's not as deep. And then these two are the same size. This one has all of my tubbed face masks and then this one has all of my tubed face masks. And this one is a little bit deeper than this one is. And it's also larger so that there's a lot of room if you wanted to put really anything. If you had a larger nail polish collection, if you wanted to put your sheet masks or just jewelry, travel essentials, you could even put like kids stuff makeup. The possibilities are endless of what you could organize in these, but I just really like these. I like the way that they look and I was looking for something that would look nice and clean when this drawer is closed. And then the last thing in this drawer that I wanted to talk about is this acrylic clutch holder. I think it's technically a file holder, but it does just have these little openings and they fit clutches perfectly. So you can just stand them up in here and you don't have to worry about them and you can get them out without kind of like messing up a pile of them. You can take one out and it doesn't get affected at all. Again, I think that this looks really cute in the drawer like this. Um, this one kind of seems out of place, but either way, I think that it really works and this has been the way that I've organized my clutches for years. I've had this piece forever, but I figured now is the time to talk about it since it's actually showing in my closet now. The last thing I want to talk about in my closet right now are these bins. I actually have six of them. They were in my other closet, but I moved three of them over here because they fit perfectly. I'm still kind of trying to decide what to do with this shelf. Um, it's a little bit too small. I think I might move it down to put handbags on it. I thought maybe hats. I thought maybe clothes. I think I'm going to settle on handbags, so I am just going to move it down a little bit and then put three handbags there. But right here, these bins fit perfectly, so I can put my winter scarves in one, I have travel accessories in one, and then I have extra duplicates of beauty products in the other one. I just wanted to take one down and kind of show you guys how big they are. So they have the handle on one side. They do collapse if you don't have anything in them, so they're really easy to store. But I have like my little toothbrush holder, these jewelry bags, my Billy razor, and then I have this bag of bags, it's little makeup bags, and this little bag of more bags. And then I have my makeup case. Actually, some of these are from Amazon too, so let me just pull them out. I have this clutch, which sometimes I put makeup or something in it. Um, these are my packing cubes. They're from Amazon. All of them fit inside of here. I do not know how I packed before I had these. And then I have my jewelry organizer. This holds so much jewelry, every amount of jewelry I could ever imagine taking on a trip with me. All of that fits in there. This is my travel mirror. You can just flip it up and then it sits on the stand whatever way you put it on there. It's a really good size and I just love that it's padded and it's small. So if you want to get ready in front of the window at a hotel or something, this is perfect for that. And then I have my makeup case. This is like $20. It comes in a bunch of different colors and this fits everything you could need. Um, it has a spot for brushes. This 
this pouch goes all the way through so you can fit a big palette in there. And then all of these are removable so you can put them in depending on how you organize your makeup. And I just keep a couple of travel things in here. So all of this stuff fits into this bin perfectly. I have a couple other things too. So yeah, those bins come in a variety of different colors so you don't have to get the pink, but I love them. I love that they can just get stuff out of the way and stay organized and still look chic. The last thing I wanted to show you in my closet is these wooden hangers. I can link my velvet hangers as well. I've had these for years, absolutely love them. They are such space savers and they're non-slip since they are velvet. It might have these little grooves in them. Can't say enough good things about these. They come in a variety of colors. I actually wanna get ones that have the, uh, the rose gold hanger part. I'll link those ones, they're adorable. But I wanted to show you guys these wooden pant hangers. I was having issues with this area with everything hanging too low and so I actually started hanging my pants and shorts and now I have enough room for shoes here because they hang higher. So I'm just going to move these shirts somewhere else and just have all pants here and I'll be able to use shoes here. So anyway, these are so nice. I need to steam these desperately, but I like that they can hang up and then they aren't getting all wrinkled in your closet. They are nice and easy to find. They look really pretty. And then of course you can do it with your long jeans too. I just clip them at the knee, just fold them in half. And I just think that this looks so clean. It's so easy to find things. Nothing's on top of each other and nothing is getting wrinkled. Alrighty guys, those are all of my current Amazon favorites. Let me know down below what your Amazon favorites are. I would love to know what you have been loving. I do wanna check out some more spring fashion from there. I'm sure that I will share like a spring or summer try on haul very soon for you if you're interested in that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.